Hey, Julian Franklin. Today, I want to talk to you about a show called The Arctic Express. This was a show that I wrote many, many years ago. In fact, just before the movie The Polar Express came out, uh, I wound up uh, writing this show, and so I always said Sony really helped uh, sell this show for me. In fact, that very next winter, I did the show uh, throughout that very first year, and then the very next winter was the winter. I don't know if you remember this, but it snowed all through Texas, all the way down to the Rio Grande Valley. I mean, it was an unbelievable uh, uh, coincidence, but I claim that it might not have been coincidence. It could have been because of my show. We'll find out if you book the show, then uh, maybe we can have that snow again. But what happens in this show is it's a, a, a celebration of all the myriad holidays that people celebrate in the wintertime. It turns out people celebrate more holidays in the wintertime than at any other time of the year. And so we talk about all of these holidays. Now, a lot of the holidays are religious holidays. In fact, the word holiday comes from holy day because all religious holidays used to be, I mean, all uh, holidays used to be religious celebrations. But um, there are many, many holidays that happen in the wintertime that anyone can celebrate, secular holidays. And so we talk about both of these types of holidays. When we're addressing the religious holidays, we address them in a purely factual way. So that there's, um, what happens is it's a fantastic program because it's so inclusive, it's so multicultural. We talk about Ramadan, uh, which actually is a holiday that moves throughout the year. So it sometimes happens in the summer, but it sometimes happens in the winter. But we talk about Ramadan, an Islamic holiday. We talk about Christmas, which is a Christian holiday. We talk talk about um, uh, Hanukkah, which is a Jewish holiday. We talk about Diwali, which is a Hindu holiday. We talk about uh, Thanksgiving and New Year's, and uh, sometimes we even address Halloween very briefly. All of these, of course, are secular holidays that anybody can celebrate. We talk about Kwanzaa, a secular holiday that anybody can celebrate. And so we talk about all of these different holidays, and then, of course, at the end, it's got a very hard, uh, of course, like all of my shows. There's lots of puppets and silliness and jokes and, and things that happen. But um, the jokes are kept, uh, this is an interesting show because the jokes are kept quite separate from the historical discussion of each one of these um, holidays because we wanted to make sure that everybody felt validated and respected uh, and included but at the same time we wanted everything to be factual and complete and not getting silly when we're talking about these uh, holidays that people hold dear to their heart uh, in di many different cultures all around the world. And so it's a fantastic multicultural uh, program to bring in. It's really fun in December, November, December. It's a great holiday. I've had it, I've done it as early as October. I've done it as late as late January, but it's a fantastic show. It's called the Arctic Express, the Arctic Express. And it's a show of um, all the many festivals and holidays that people celebrate during the wintertime, the Arctic Express.